Hi, Miss Danny. Thank you for joining our meeting. And please, can you please tell us more about yourself? I work mostly with the farmers in the Philippines. So what we do is we try to help them organize the food supply. Because, you know, every one of us eats food, but we don't really know where this is coming from. So our advocacy is to let people know from the villages that even kids like you guys to uh, get to know more about our farmers and what they're really doing. On the ground. What inspired you to make the new Baha'i Kubo? So I've been traveling for the last three years in different communities in the Philippines from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And I have seen how much, how many of our Filipinos actually don't focus on our very core industry which is agriculture or the, uh, the industry that makes food. And so we wanted to bring back people into their provinces, into the areas that they were once where, and just really build this sense that, okay, when you grow your own food, you're gonna be able to sustain yourself. And I personally have seen also the decline of the new generation of farmers. So a lot of, most of the average age of our farmer is 67 years old. So imagine 20 years from now, who will be making our food in Philippines? And that's one of our main motivation as to why we're trying to create a better house or a better community in the countryside. So people wouldn't resort to going to the city because Manila is very crowded, Cebu is very crowded, even Iloilo, which is now a city, it's very crowded already. So we have to create um, job opportunities into the province so people wouldn't have to go out of their area just to find a decent job. So that's our main reason or my main inspiration as to why we designed the modern Baha'i Kuba. Can you tell us the parts of the Baha'i Kuba? Okay, so there are actually three important parts into the Baha'i Kuba and the 21st Baha'i Kuba because we pretty much just copy the concept of the old Baha'i Kuba into the 21st Baha'i Kuba. The first part is called the Silong. So that's what we were talking about a while ago, that extra space beneath the house so there's a, an elevation or a space that's for working so that is also a place for gathering that's why it's called it's called silong so people go there in the philippines now when you say silong it's a place you go to when it's raining or why you have to go silong in one place so you won't get wet but actually the silong the, the idea of silong is where people gather when they're tired from work, where families eat together, where the chickens thrive and you know where you can actually have a little of planting underneath. So that's the first part of the Bahai Kubo. Second is the Bulwagan. So the Bulwagan is the space where you can actually live. So when you look at the Baha'i Kubo design before, there's not really much division because Filipino values, you know, we're very open. We don't really have that, you know, okay, I have to um, lock myself in my room because the families back then really enjoy their time with one another. So, and when you look into the house design that we have now, the condominiums, the small spaces, they're actually not good for our mental health. Because they, you know, isolation can lead to um, mental health um, um, sickness. So when we create the modern Baha'i Kubo, we take into consideration the social interaction that they're going to have, the family time that we want them to be spending with. Because we believe that this should be part of the design of a, a house. So next will be the bubong. So. Actually, during the usual Baha'i Kubo that we have, we made use of our national leaf. Do you know our national leaf? It's the Anahao. So what's good with Anahao is that it expands when it's, it's hot and then it closes up when it's cold. So you can see like the Baha'i Kubo, when it's hot in the afternoon, it actually gives cold air. And then when it's cold, it's, it's going to let out the heat that it stores. So that's the, the science or the ingenious behind the anahao. So that's the same thing that we, we're making for the 21st Baha'i Kubo. But instead of using anahao, we're using a certain type of fruit that adjusts to the temperature and doesn't make it really, really hot inside. So, um, I should, you know that it's very hot in this country, so we have to 
really take into consideration the insulation or how the heat goes into the house. So those are the three parts of the Bahay Kubo, the Silong, the Bulwagan, and the Bulwagan.